Welcome to Hypnosis Health Info. I'm Roger Moore, and this is Ask Roger. The holidays are here, and people are talking to me about managing holiday stress. I've chosen this week to combine these questions and discuss them all together. Here are some of the questions that people are asking. What are the most effective ways to manage holiday stress and anxiety? Well, mindfulness is one of the most effective ways to manage stress. When dealing with traffic, parking, crowds, shopping, budgets, family, and, and work, it's important to take a moment just to be aware of your breath. And one, one fun and, and really easy way to do this is to wiggle your toes, wiggle your butt, take a deep breath in through your nose, and let it out through your mouth. Now, you really don't have to do the hula, but just the thought of the silliness of wiggling your butt will help ground you. And this, this simple technique gets you out of that stress and anxiety and back into your body. And in that moment, you can know that in spite of everything else, you really are okay. And from this calm, relaxed place of being okay, you can handle the stressors. Second one is how to stay calm during holiday travel despite your anxiety. Well, meditation, self-hypnosis, and other mindfulness techniques can be an excellent ways for, to help you to be calm even in the stressful moments of holiday travel. Remember to breathe slowly and deeply. Drink water, eat healthy, and walk as much as you can. And bring earbuds to listen to favorite music, which can be soothing or enjoy an audio book or a podcast as a way of distracting your anxious thoughts. You will help prevent anxiety by avoiding alcohol, junk food, and fast food. And try to keep your focus on visualizing the, the good aspects of the trip you expect to enjoy rather than the hassles of the actual travel. Imagine the taste of your favorite foods rather than fuming about the long lines at the airport. Third one, how to set a warm tone for your holiday gathering. Should you create rules and boundaries? I no discussion of politics or religion. Well, start by being emotionally ready and present to welcome your guests. Sounds unrealistic, perhaps, but being better organized and prepared can allow you to be more calm and focused when, when, when people arrive. Another ta tactic would be to ask a, a few key people to come earlier than the others in order to help prepare and to make that experience as much as fun as possible. These gatherings should not be about precision and perfection, but the coming together of people and, and all the complex emotions they bring along. Encourage the, the sharing of feelings too, especially happy memories of loved ones who are no longer with us or who perhaps couldn't uh, make it to the event, they're too far away. Now all 20 guests that will be at our Thanksgiving table have been told that we do not discuss politics at family, family gatherings. Our, our family gatherings are a time to commune with each other. It's a time to talk, to listen, to laugh, and, and have fun. Fourth one, how to dispute, d diffuse clashes or awkward moments during fa family gatherings. As hosts, we take the lead and quickly stop any conversations that are becoming caustic. As much as possible, uh, this is done with humor, but still the message is clear. For example, you might say, Janet, you know you're still bothered because your brother doesn't treat you with res respect you feel you deserve, but please, can you leave your 20-year-old complaints on the porch with the muddy boots? Number five, what are some practical, easy, or easily impl implementable and humorous ways to keep holiday, holiday gatherings cheery? Well, during the Thanksgiving meal, we, we share three things that we're thankful for. 
And at all family gatherings, we share at least one fun or humorous event that we've experienced since the last time we gathered. Other traditions uh, to start might be involve family and decorating by sending them outside to gather whatever they can find uh, to make a bouquet and then display it proudly even though it may be all raggedy and brown. It's the doing of the, uh, of the challenge and getting outside that really matters. Or make a deck of helping cards with chores for the day and, and have each person draw one, which then avoids old patterns of resentment as the same people do the same tasks year after year. Or how about having the kids make costume for the pets out of wrapping paper and bows, which should keep them entertained for half an hour or so? Before the meal, and for as long afterwards as you can manage, manage it, keep all cell phones and tablets in a special box that you hide somewhere, and then encourage your guests to talk to each other. After all, they're the ones who've traveled uh, so far far to, to be with you. My, my hope and prayer for you is that you have a relaxed and fun and, and joyful holidays. One way you can do this is by being your best self. So before you open your mouth and say something, ask yourself, am I being my best self right now? And if you aren't familiar with my greatest expression view process, I'll include uh, the link uh, to it in the post that accompanies this video and, and I'm also going to include links to Orange Blossom which is my free 27 minute hypnosis relaxation, uh, the stress reduction technique, you know it's just and then the light switch self hypnosis. If you have questions for Ask Roger just send me an email Roger at hypnosishealthinfo.com and may you all have a calm, relaxed, happy and fun-filled holiday season. I'm Roger Moore and this is Ask Roger at Hypnosis Health Info.